because I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. Come on. There's our first customer. Taste it. Taste it, Rainbow. Thirsty. Where are you? Where are you? Taste the Rainbow. One more, one more, one more, one more. Chicken Rainbow. Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. I'm Bushka. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to be having a look today at what I like to call Game Sense, inverted commas, high IQ plays, inverted commas. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get a little bit, uh, I find it very frustrating when people do videos like that, you know. 100 IQ plays, 1,000 IQ plays. You won't believe what happens next. But what I, talk, I really want to talk about here is I want you guys to start thinking through the game more and start developing that, that battle sense, that game sense, that IQ that you can put into PUBG Mobile. And you saw at the start of this, I was bad on the drop. I, I mean, I dropped very, very poorly. And all I did was I quite simply pulled the pin and turned right and went down to the warehouse next to Paradise Resort. And then we flanked around with nothing but a gun each way. I mean, we don't even have armor or anything. And we're behind a squad that's engaging another squad that's north of them. No one knows we're here. And this is very, very simple stuff. This is the kind of thing that will literally win you games and lose you games. And you can see we're not firing either. We're just watching. We're waiting for the perfect opportunity. And when that opportunity presents itself, we, we, you know, it's, it's executing under pressure. Well, really, it's executing without any pressure because we made a good decision at the start and we executed that plan and we've, we've gone forward. And I think tactical planning in both a macro sense, when you're under the pump at boot camp or Paradise Resort, and in a long, longer range goal setting kind of sense, like let's get to the short side of the circle and make sure we keep moving in uh, with plenty of space so we don't end up getting gatekeeped. These are things that you get in your gameplay by getting perspective. And I think if you want to become a player that outthinks your opponent and wins by just being a sneaky grub, you've got to start You've got to start implementing that kind of strategy within your gameplay. You can't just go in there guns blazing and fire all the time. Like I'm pretending to be a bot here and I'm going to draw this guy out and I'm going to take the first step towards what is a very, very easy squad wipe. But I do it in three stages. There's got a, a full squad or three men squad that's isolated and, and broken apart and I'm going to, one step at a time, clear them by basically being a sneaky grub. I mean, that one was pretty obvious. We just, you know, pretended to be a bot and then and then put him down. And then the next one, you're going to see his mates down there. We take a quick peek. We pull around. I can see footsteps. Uh, he wants to come and revive his buddy, but his buddy's died. He's going to be right there on that corner. Let's just lob a little Gren down there, cook it, let the Gren sink, settle, uh, serve with a, you know, a a good, strong, full-bodied red wine, blah, 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 get the knock. Game sense is great. Battle sense, whatever you want to call it. High IQ, I don't know. You, you call it what you want to call it. But the important thing is you actually have to think your way through the game. You can't just go hell for leather all the time. If you, if you do this by just implementing one simple strat, and that is, and I've said this before, but just solve one problem at a time. You, you're one problem at a time. If you just solve one problem at a time. I dropped with Ouija. I dropped poorly. The first problem is we're going to land second. So if we're going to land second, let's solve that by just going somewhere where there is no one else. The second bunch of film you're seeing here is I want to engage a full squad without actually running through and getting gangbanged by three guys at once. So I knock them off one at a time. How do I do that? I pretend to be a bot. And then... I leverage the guy moving towards the knock to turn that into a, another kill. And then the last guy, because there's no kill cam and they're not sure where I am, is waiting around a corner where he's sure I've got to be because his other mate got grinned. You know, that's that's just game sense. I'm going to finish it with this clip. There's six left alive. Um, we've got 13 kills. We've come out of... I think it's actually the end... No, it's the end of another game. So... It's a fairly solid circle, and we've worked our way into here 
very, very um, easily. And I'm in two minds here. You can see I'm really worried that the circle is going to include some people up the ridge line there. But I've heard gunfire to my south as well. So what I'm going to do, and this is obvious, I, I'm solo in an open field against a lot of different people. I'm going to let them blow each other up. Um, and I'm only going to take targets of opportunity. I'm not going to sit out there and just wail away. Unless there is someone directly here, no one needs to even know that I exist. And this is this is how you start playing the game. This is how you begin to become a better player. And then you get four of you all thinking like this at once and communicating well uh, using in-game comms or Discord, and suddenly you're a force to be reckoned with. And I mean, I think this is why I love the idea of people doing games like the ESL Mobile Open. Um, and, and playing as a team in that, because whether you win or lose, you're playing against good players and you'll pick up strategies and, and tactics that they use that are, are more important than anything else. And I can see the gunfights going on up there. I know that there's multiple squads. And all I have to do here is not screw it up. Like, I'm really, it's really now all on me not being bad because these guys, I've knocked a, a guy that was pushing up on the left. There was someone knocked on the right. <laughs> They're going to clear each other. There's only two guys left to clear. And I've gone from being one versus five to one versus two. And I'm still in the circle. They're still in the circle. But I've got to screw this up. It's mine to lose now. And really, what I'd love to see more of, and I've got to admit, like the standard of play is getting better and better, like in PUBG Mobile. There's no denying it. I... Uh, I went and did a COD mobile um, game the other night and it was Battle Royale and people were absolutely headless. They had no idea what was going on. And the the fact that PUBG Mobile is so subtle like this, that there is such a there is such scope for tactics and for good gameplay mechanics to make a difference really excites me. And you can see I'm pulling away over the top here. So I'm not peeking the left and the right of the rock. So even if they, they're, they're, they're eyeballing the edges of the rock, because that's where I've been popping, I'm not popping there. I'm actually popping way at the back, and people don't expect that. So you've got three different spots that you can pop from, which is massive. And then I smoke, but I don't push, because I know that guy's going to start moving down into the circle, and I'm literally just waiting for him to move, rather than actually pushing into the circle myself. It's just not important. He's got no cover. None. That's PUBG Mobile game sense. That's improving the way you think about the game. You've got to start treating the game as a chess match, not as a, a boxing ring brawl. And you'll be far better off. This is uh, this is all about the sweet science. I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. Make sure you subscribe and like the videos. That helps me. If you want to become a Patreon, there's a link there that will you know, allow you to access the live streams and everything that we do. And until next time, just, just be nice to your family and your friends and uh and have a good weekend bye for now